On today's part of episode 3, we are in the scare. We are having a big, big, massive fight. And later on, we're at Selena's. Alright, welcome back. So, let's continue on. Where did the sky, sky train depot? Boom. Here I am, bitches. Everything's oh. dark. Quiet. It's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? Nope. They may not have gone far. They should be there. Not for the moment. Means I have time to see what they've been up to. Now just be careful. We don't want any surprises. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Look He's been what? dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site, shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. Nope. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? God knows. Look at map. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Right. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Ah, okay. There we go. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. For now, yeah. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Idiot! This wouldn't work. I need to know where their target is. 
A modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Damn it! Link, I said, Link! Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They Don't could say. infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! Hello, Penguin. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. It's all here. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Huh. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Oh, boy. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobb. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. I guess. Thanks, Bats. Train's ready! Move out! The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. 
Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Just like the other liar. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm sorry, but my keyboard kind of didn't. <laughs> so so short-sighted. What? I ran out of battery on my mouse. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> sorry. Don't pass out on me. Okay. Come on, bats. Oh. Whoa! Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna hurt like a bitch. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Well, yeah. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. Yes, they do. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would've killed you. It's not that bad. <sighs> I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. Uh, uh, 
I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I was just trying to help you, Selina. I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> well, I didn't ask for yours either, but here we are. Touche. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? Yep. The dynamic duo fighting crime. <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. <laughs> well, not most. Maybe half. Maybe. Just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? Nope. <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world, and won't let anyone else see? I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times, but you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. <laughs> you put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. <laughs> For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. It's not the same, but... I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... Like a disappointment. Right. Hmm. This is nice. Did you mean to say that out loud? I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let 
me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? sleeping dust. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> Surprised you're still here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That was fun. But you showed me where we stood back at the debate. <laughs> I know last night didn't mean anything. I don't need you to stay and hold my hand. One night stands don't usually stick around. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be the last time. <laughs> I don't think we really want to go down that road. It's better this way. No strings. <clears throat> there are bagels in the fridge if you're hungry. No need to rush out on an empty stomach. <laughs> Right. All right, so I'm gonna end this part of this episode here, not to make it too long. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next part of episode three. And until then, bye bye and good luck.